Our ship has again sailed and we've left Dublin in Ireland and we've travelled to Wales and I've booked myself on a privileged access shore excursion to visit a castle, a Tudor castle in fact called Gwydda Castle. Located in the Conway Valley, it was once the centre of a massive estate that covered some 150 square kilometres in area. This is the Grade 1 listed ancestral home of the Wynne family, who were descendants of the Kings of Gwyneth. Its first owner was recorded back in 1356, when a Welsh knight, Howell Ap Coatmore, was recorded as owning it. Today, its restoration is an ongoing love affair for Peter Welford and Judy Corbett. Peter, I'm fascinated by your story. Tell me what possessed two young people to take on a project like this? I suppose it was a degree of madness, um, passion, certainly. Uh, we came to Gwydda in 94. We were both in our 20s. And uh, I came from an art historical background. Judy was also from a conservation background. And we had a mixture of uh, feelings, really. One was horror about yeah. the condition of the place, which was really appalling. Chimneys had fallen in, it was full of rats. The second was uh, we, we instantly fell in love with it. So it's become a passion, uh, an obsession almost. And in terms of North Whalian history, it's, it's the, the predominant house in the Tudor period. Mm -hmm. The winds of Gwydda uh, were involved in absolutely everything. And so it was very sad that it had, from being one of the most significant houses, had, had become uh, well, basically a property at risk. I was going to ask you about the gardens. Yeah, because there's some significant trees on this site. And there are a lot of wonderful trees dotted about. There are three uh, trees that were planted to commemorate the wedding in 1625 of Charles I and Queen Henrietta Maria. The home is beautifully furnished with pieces collected from the period displayed here, giving you a wonderful insight into the history of the house and the taste of the era. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the, in the dining room, and some of you may have heard about the story of this, this extraordinary uh, panelled room. The panelling was made for this space in about 1640 by Sir Richard Wynne. Um, so, by 1921, Lord Carrington owned the house. He decided to sell Gwydda, and he sold all the furniture from the house that had been made for Gwydda in the 16th century. And he went further and sold two panelled rooms from, from the house, Lot 65 and Lot 88. And this is Lot 65, the dining room. We contacted the auctioneers who'd, who'd, who'd handled the, uh, the, the auction in 1921, and they told us that William Randolph Hearst had bought two rooms from Gwydda in, in 1921. We contacted the Getty Museum, who hold all the records for Hearst, and they said, mm, try the Metropolitan Museum in New York. This we did. And the Met said, yes, we've got a room of yours. Would you like it back? Despite time, the gardens have remained with the structural plants, the bones to the garden remaining for visitors to admire, whilst the restoration has again filled them out to a similar standard to their past glory. The thing you have to keep in mind is this is a Viking privilege access to us, something completely unique to Viking. Imagine the chance to visit such a significant historical property like this, meet the owners who lovingly restored it, share the stories of the property with you and show you around. It's a very, very special experience, completely unique to Viking and something I will never forget.